Now, as far as the Kendrick and Drake, that's Kendrick and Drake shit. The game is a renowned rapper from the West Coast. In the 2000s, he was the biggest star in Compton and a mentor to many of the artists who followed in his footsteps. Welcome back, it's your host Nancy Brown. If you are new here, make sure you have subscribed to our YouTube channel. Plus, he missed the biggest Los Angeles show in living memory. Kendrick do his shit. what he did last night. It was amazing for the West Coast. Fans were quick to note out that game was one of the few CPT icons who did not receive a shout out or a reference during Kendrick Lamar's incredible pop out performance on Juneteenth. I sat back and I watched it. I ain't have to be there to think that the shit was more cool than major. As a result, a lot of people speculated that Lamar and Game were done. The day following the performance, the latter made the decision to address the matter on Instagram Live. Top Dog wanted to motherfucking give me half a Top Dog. I didn't want nothing from. The game made it clear that he was a fan of the pop-out show. He assured fans that he has no problem with Lamar or TDE as a label. The rapper actually claimed that he was given the chance to invest in TDE when the label was starting out. Bro, I just wanted to push in the right direction. The rapper of Hate It or Love It stated that gossip is not his purpose in life. He was nevertheless irritated by what he discovered on social media both before and after the pop-out. Stop speculating and doing all that goofy ass tea. He stated, Mother F Cass in my DM, all these blog sites talking about the West Coast ain't F King with you and you ain't this, and you ain't that. I be in my own lane, chilling, taking care of my kids. The game also felt the need to assert the role he played in helping people like Dot and Nipsey Hussle break through to the mainstream. That and alerted that ST on the way up, he said. Snoop looked out for me like that, I looked out for Kendrick. The rapper's assertion is backed up by evidence. Kendrick Lamar collaborated with the game on the song The City in 2011 and On Me in 2015, marking their second collaboration. In contrast, Lamar gave the game a verse on the 2012 single Black Boy Fly. Using Game's true name, Jason Taylor, the song describes Lamar's jealousy of Game after the latter released his iconic debut, the documentary. Though their friendship hasn't always been cordial, the two rappers have always respected one another. On June 10th, Kendrick Lamar set the rap world ablaze. At the Ken and Friends concert, he gave a riveting performance. He not only announced an incredible guest list, but he also continued to criticize Drake with his platform. During his performance of the diss track Euphoria, the Compton rapper changed the lyrics and addressed the six god directly, defying the plan. The takeaway, never treat Tupac disrespectfully. Kendrick Lamar got rid of the euphoria like Matter of fact, I ain't even bleed him yet, can I bleed him? It was replaced with a significantly more damning statement that confirmed our collective suspicions. He has no regard for Drake. Give me Tupac, read back and I might give you a new respect. He rapped. The ring in question was bought by Drake back in 2023. The Toronto rapper purchased the artifact for $1 million, according to Billboard. He's flaunted the ring on Instagram and worn it during several interviews. Drake made a similar purchase when he netted $2.6 million worth of Farrell's jewelry. He even flaunted the latter during the Family Matters video. Neither of these purchases sat well with Kendrick Lamar. It's evident from the Compton rapper that Tupac is an icon in the music industry. Some of Lamar's most incensed bars are influenced by the idea that Drake is the owner of one of Pac's most valuable items. You think the Bagon let you disrespect Pac, N.A.? He asked on Not Like Us. Even before he began rapping, Dot had a deep respect for Tupac. He said that as a child, he went to see the California Love video set. Years later, he ended his iconic album to pimp a butterfly with a rare interview with Pac. In 2015, Dot also wrote a memorial to the deceased rapper. I was eight years old when I first saw you, he recalled. I couldn't describe how I felt at that moment. So many emotions, full of excitement, full of joy and eagerness. 20 years later I understand exactly what that feeling was. Inspired. During the pop-out performance, Kendrick Lamar completed the Circle of the Pack experience. When Dr. Dre joined him on stage, they sang California Love together. Naturally, Dre wrapped his stanza before Dot filled in for Tupac. It has been around a month and a half since Kendrick Lamar and Drake went to war. But a lot of Drake fans just haven't moved on from their artist's loss. What's your bank account, brother? Just what speak your truth. Alright, fuck it, bro. It's Anthony Salaya. Watching a DJ academic stream would show you that the commentator is always looking for fresh ways to show why Kendrick isn't the winner in this whole situation. In general, the idea that Lamar has been stream botting on YouTube and Spotify is one of the approaches that some have taken. That's who paid me. That's just the name that was on the account that I got paid by. A person claimed to have been paid off by Kendrick Lamar's team to increase his streams by 30 million was featured on Academic Stream last night. And that's how I feel, and I'm scared, obviously. For all of this, how much was the man paid? $2,500 it seems. Soon after he made his claims, supporters demanded evidence. They later obtained it in the form of a screenshot of a Zelle transaction where the man was paid $2,500 by Anthony Sale LLC. For those who might not be aware, Sale oversees Kendrick. But, 50 and a few online detectives claim that this screenshot might be a hoax. According to 50 and other comments, Anthony Sale LLC isn't actually a registered LLC in any of the 
50 states in the United States. There are still a lot of gaps in the story that may be explored, even though the money may have been made by an unregistered LLC. For example, $2,500 seems excessive given the request. Furthermore, the song doesn't really require the increase in streams as it is already a huge hit. Fans are obviously not buying the story at this time, and before that changes, they will require additional evidence. That's it for today, thanks for watching. Tell us what you think in the comments section and most importantly subscribe. See you.